Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys the best free Nintendo DS emulator you can get for your Android device. So there is actually a better emulator called Drastic, but I won't be talking about it in this video because that actually costs around £3. And you will also need some Nintendo DS ROMs, so I will be using the SD card from my R4 flash cart, just because that's a lot easier, and it actually comes with all the ROMs that I've already got on there. So on your Android device, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up the Google Play Store. Then in this search at the top, just type in NDS and then search it. So you want to get the second one on the list, which is NDS emulator for Android 6. There's quite a few on here, but that is the best one you can get for free. As you can see, you can get Drastic as well, but that actually costs, I think I paid about £4 for it. I've already got it installed. But um, this one is free and it's pretty much the same thing. So all you want to do is just go ahead and install it. And then once you've got it, all you want to do is just tap open. So it's made by CPU Studio. Just give it a few seconds to load. It does take just a few seconds. And now what it's going to do is just load up. Now to get your game running, all you want to do is just tap new game. Now there might be a few adverts on this, so just keep that in mind. And then what it's going to do is just scan your device for your ROM. So as you can see, mine has scanned my SD card. You can tap rescan if it's not coming up, and it should find all of the Nintendo DS ROMs located somewhere on your phone. So as you can see, I've got loads of games in here. I can pretty much just try any game, and it should work. So let's go with New Super Mario Bros. first. So just tap on it, and then it's just going to load into the game like this. So there is an advert at the top, but apart from that, it's not too bad. So let's just give it a quick test. Let's just start a new game here. Has full working sound and everything like that. And there's also no delays, which is really nice. Alright, so while I'm on the game, there is also a menu button, so if you tap that up, it just comes up with a few options. So we have got gamepad, if you disable that, as you can see, it removes all of the um, you know, gamepad controls from the screen, so we can no longer use it. So all you want to do is just turn that back on. So we've got some other settings on here as well. Uh, we've got switch the screens around, which is this one right here, so do that, and it will swap the screens. We've got a save button, so that saves the game. We've got a no pen button. So that means you can't use the touch screen. And the top option right here basically simulates your uh, Nintendo DS closing. So if you did that, it would basically be, you know, like your DS is closed. And then you tap it and then it opens again. And we've got load, so it loads. We've got merge screen. And then we've also got microphone. So yeah, pretty cool. Has all of the options from the original DS that you could possibly want. So there is also another menu button. If you tap menu down here, it comes up with all kinds of other stuff. So we've got save states, we've got cheats on here, reset game, change game, um, frame rate settings and stuff like that. So yeah, these are all the screen options. You know, you've got portrait and stuff. You can even change it to landscape mode, which is pretty cool. Just go on menu, uh, save for current game, and then it will just play like that. Personally, I think Portrait is always better for 3DS games, so I'm just going to do save all games like that. We've also got change game here. If you tap that, you can choose another ROM. So let's just load up another game here. Let's go with Pokemon Diamond. It also works with ROM hacks and stuff like that as well, so very cool. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you want a really good DS emulator for free, where you can configure loads of settings, enable cheats, and play ROM hacks as well, I would definitely recommend getting this one. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.